Solve layer one. Step one, the daisy. This is where we want to get to by the end of this stage. A yellow centerpiece with four white edge pieces. All we are focusing on is the four white edge pieces. You can ignore all other pieces for now. Start by holding your cube with the yellow center pointing upwards. Let's look at the top layer first. Once you've scrambled your cube, you may find you have a white edge piece already in position. If so, leave it there. You may also find that you have a white edge piece on the top layer, but not touching the yellow center. That's okay, we'll correct that shortly. If you don't have any in the top layer when you start, that's okay, we'll get there soon enough. Next, look on the middle layer to find your next white edge piece. If I move this up, it bumps this one out of position. All I need to do is just turn the up face to create space here and I can put it next to the yellow center. If our next edge piece is facing down, we just need to move the face twice to get it into position. Let's look if our white edge piece is on the bottom layer. What we need to do is turn the face twice. Be careful not to bump any pieces that we already have in position. So we just rotate the up face and then we can turn the face twice. Let's correct that now. So when we need to flip one of these pieces, what we need to do is position it so it's on the right face and we follow this algorithm. An algorithm is just a sequence of moves you need to do in a specific order. You can think of them as moving a piece out of the way, setting up its correct position and then moving that piece into that place. You'll get the hang of it and we follow this algorithm. Right, counterclockwise. Up, clockwise. Face, counterclockwise. And now we have all four pieces in position. When your Rubik's Cube has a daisy that looks like this, you can move on to step two. Have a little practice yourself and try and get confident with doing the daisy before moving on to step two. 